Hello, this is Mary Peabody with UVM Extension, and this is um, our farm labor dashboard. And today I'm going to do a short tutorial on another one of our tools that you'll find on the dashboard. And this one is our personnel policy generator. So this is the home page, the face page of the dashboard. And um, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see that our tools are out there. I'm just going to scroll on over to the personnel policy generator and click on that to get us started. You'll see a brief introduction about personnel policy manuals and the role in managing employees. Uh, which I hope you'll take the time to read, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just go ahead and click on get started. And a little bit about the dashboard itself. Anytime you see a red asterisk, it means it's a required field. In this particular tool, there is only one required field, and that's at the very top, and it's to put your name of the farm, your farm name in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put something in here. Um, the next three boxes are open text box fields, and you can use them um, as, you, as you wish. Uh, we have suggested that you put in a short farm business overview, just a little bit about your farm, where it's located, um, how long it's been in business, what it produces, uh, your mission statement and company values, if you have those available. Um, and the organization of the business, whether it's a family-owned business or a co-op or, uh, you know, whether there's um, a, an out-of-state owner and, and it's operated by a farm manager. So just things that um, employees would want to know. And a couple things about the tool in general. Again, anytime you see this green circle with a white question mark in there, this is just um, providing you a little bit of insight into what we think you should provide in these boxes. And so um, it won't, it won't appear on the final document, so you don't have to worry about that. And again, these three are all optional. If you don't put anything in there, which I am not going to stop and put anything in there right now, uh, you won't see anything on the final page. So scrolling down to the EEO statement, um, this is the first time that we actually get into policy. So let me just make my standard um, my standard announcement, which is that we think with all things employment, it is a good idea once you've got a draft complete that you run it by your farm attorney and or perhaps somebody in your state's Department of Labor. Because as we all know, labor is a complex um, uh, mashup of state, local, and federal law, and those laws are constantly changing and evolving. And so we want you to be safe and be protected from a legal standpoint. So it's good to have somebody look over this, to have another set of eyes that is familiar with your particular location and environment, um, just to scan over it and give some input. Um, okay, so as from here on out, each of these fields will be populated with some language. The language is there for you to save if you like it. If you don't like it, you can hover over and you can um, delete everything um, and put in your own text. Um, or you can go ahead um, and modify what you actually see there. Now, I will tell you this. Um, if you go ahead and leave it like this and you just delete it and you don't put anything in there, when you come back to print it out, you will see that it is once again populated with the text. So the only way to actually get rid of what we've put in there as um, guiding template text is for you to actually retype something else in there. So just be aware of that. So as I said, this is set up in 12 different sections. Um, we think that we've tried to make it follow a logical order of what an employee might expect to, to be interested in and these kinds of things. So we start with some just basic boilerplate kinds of things. Um, two things to be aware of is that you want to read carefully each of the, the text in all of these boxes because there are places like for example right here where we've put in a series of X's and where we want you to take those X's out and actually insert the name of your farm. So and you'll also see down here there's a blank which is looking for you to provide some information. So 
almost in every case, this is either we're wanting you to personalize this by putting in the name of your farm or we're wanting you to put in a position. So for example, in the workers comp, if somebody, if an employee is injured or becomes ill on the farm, they need to notify somebody. We want you to say, what is the position of that somebody on your farm? It could be the farm owner, it could be the crew leader, um, you know, it just depends on your circumstance. And we would always suggest that you put in the position title and not the name so that you don't have to redo this every time um, a position turns over. So once you're finished with that, if you're happy with it, you just continued on to next. Um, this goes over work hours and scheduling. And again, we have all this boilerplate language in here, which you're welcome to keep. Uh, you're welcome to modify if your work hours are not 7 to 3.30 Monday through Friday, by all means put in what your work hours are. If you don't have, if you have set breaks, uh, put that in there. Uh, this is for you to customize or just providing some boilerplate language to help simplify. Um, again, a little bit about what to do if an employee is going to be late or can't make it to their work shift and who to contact, what numbers to call. This is just common sense things that employees need to be aware of. Um, how to get paid. This is usually a very interesting um, section for most employees. Uh, what the pay period is, how often people get paid, where they pick up their checks, um, what the pay rate is. Please feel free again to customize this for your own personal um, situations. Uh, if there are bonuses, if there are not bonuses, you can just put in this is, does not apply. We have no bonuses. Um, uh, vacation, sick leave. Again, if you don't offer these things, it's just a matter of taking out this text and saying not available. Um, and then we have a section on facilities. Um, if there is housing available on your farm, you certainly want to put that in there. If housing is not available, then you want to take all of this out and just say housing is not available at this farm. Um, staff kitchens and bathrooms and what the policies and uses are and where they are so that people will know, um, you know, is there a refrigerator where they can store their lunch to keep it cool? Um, parking, where would you like them to park? Um, and then we go into uh, clothing, cell phones and cameras. And again, you want to be as specific as possible. Um, it sounds a little ridiculous, but you do have to actually be very clear with employees about what appropriate dress is for a particular job. So uh, you may want people to dress differently if they're showing up to work in the field than if they're going to the Saturday market with you. Or maybe you don't. Uh, you also want to be clear about what's going to be provided by the farm and what employees are expected to bring with them. So if you're providing some personal protective equipment, then you want to be clear about that. And then we have a safety and equipment, who gets to use what equipment, under what conditions, um, who do you report to if something goes wrong with that equipment or if it breaks or if there's an accident, uh, you know, what is the use policy? And then we have a section on discipline, which is probably the piece that nobody wants to include, but really does need to be here because it is an obligation of management to be able to uh, correctively discipline employees. And if you don't have it in there, it's hard, it's hard to call people out on something that's not there. Uh, what's not allowed, so any behaviors that are not allowed, in here we have included smoking, drinking, and illegal drugs, and harassment again with boilerplate language which you can keep or modify. And then um, a section on customer service and then the very last section that we have is on end of employment and it's just nice to have everything in there and you know what do you expect from your employees in terms of giving notice, um, what would happen if, uh, for example, you had to uh, cut your season short for some reason. So once you have everything done, you think you've modified everything, you can go ahead and click on the submit button and you will get um, a 
draft that you can scroll down and look and you will see as I said I didn't take the time to go ahead and take these out so you'll still see the X's in there you'll still see the blanks in there because I didn't make any changes but if I had made some changes you would see those uh, pop up and once again just a reminder that if you pull all the text out of a text box and you don't replace it with anything it will repopulate with the template text when you get to this stage. So then you have two choices. You can, um, and we suggest you take advantage of both. Download the PDF, which is going to give you a printable uh, version of this work that you've just completed. And then you have a download doc file button, which we suggest that you do just for the purposes of keeping this uh, document on your computer where it's safe and where you can easily open it and edit it at any time. So it may be that it's fine for this year, but by next year, maybe you've decided that you are going to actually offer some benefit that you didn't offer this year. And so this is a really easy way for you to go in, open the file, make the change to the section that you want to um, change, and then resave it. And you will have um, easy access to that because once you leave the dashboard all the information you have input here will disappear we do not collect this information so this is just let me just open the PDF and you can get a look at what this looks like it's not um, you know as you can see there's still a lot of blanks that need to be filled in but it's something that you can actually print out it's formatted it's ready to hand off to an employee so I hope this has been helpful and I hope that you'll check out some more of our tools on the farm labor dashboard. Thank you. This is Mary Peabody with UVM Extension.